Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Today we are finishing up our three-part video series on a three-part TV mini movie series, Jack Hunter. All right. This review is about the last movie in the series, Jack Hunter and the Star of Heaven. Oh. Guys, the final piece of the puzzle and final chapter in the Jack Hunter trilogy. Yes, we made it there. We did it. Phew. I know not many people are going to watch these reviews. To be honest, nobody even knows about these movies. Uh, I, I don't believe. So, hey, I'm doing it because I like it, because I love it. Because it's fun and I found the movies somewhat entertaining and interesting so let me give you just a little rundown of the story in this final chapter it seems the Romans have gotten to Akhenaten's tomb first the race is on to see if Jack and his friends can find the treasure and recover the iris back from Lippmann and the Russians that's the basic outline of this last story now guys you know me I don't remember anything off the top of my head when it comes to these things so I do have my handy dandy trusty notebook handy dandy and trusty and this is gonna be a long a uh, long review here a, a long talk uh, there's a lot for me to talk about uh, I can't believe that there's that much for me to talk about but there is and I'm gonna talk about it so we are gonna get it on first things first okay first things first now I do have my notebook so I'm gonna read a little bit every movie has its flaws its goods and bads and this series is no different I'm not one to keep up with every single moment of a movie. Most times, things happen, and I don't know why. People show up, and I don't know why. Once there becomes too many things going in and out, too many people, and this, that, and the other, and things are going all over the place, I lose track sometimes. It's always a little difficult for me to keep up. I don't know why. I'm just that way. I found that slightly true, even for this series of movies. Most of you will not have this issue. I'm just a little slow. That's right, I'm a little slow. So forgive me. Now, there's not going to be any real super spoilers in this. Because I don't like doing that. But there might be a little something that kind of tells a little bit more than just a thought and opinion. But it's nothing super important that's going to make you go, Well, forget that. I'm not going to watch it then. I already know the whole series, you stupid idiot. There's none of that. I promise. So hang in here with me. This is a long thought and review and overview of this series. So one thing I want to get into is, gosh darn it, we have Russians again. It's the same Russians. But Russians again. Alright. Also, our main leading lady next to Jack Hunter is Nadia. Beautiful lady. Nice eye candy. But, she always has this weird look. Whichever side I'm going to put the picture on. This weird look in most of the show. Just kind of like, I don't get it. It's okay, Nadia. Relax. Something that I find slightly annoying and slightly weird in, in movies and TV and, that, and uh, those things is you have these big shootouts. I mean, like, even if it's just two people shooting, but then you have, like, multiple people shooting, and we're talking about in a town, in a city, in a... Square and a whatever. Uh, 
And nine times out of ten, in these movies and TV shows and that, no cops or nothing really shows up. It's always just like all this shooting and all this craziness going on. And then something happens. They take off and, it, and the gunfight's over. And it's like, where's all the cops? Where's everything at? I can go out here in my little horse and buggy town, shoot a gun, and I'm going to have cops all over me. That's always slightly annoying in movies. I don't know why it is that they do that, but whatever. We do have a nice moment. This is a slight little spoiler, not spoiler, just a slight little over the line of something that I want to share. There's a nice moment. I found it nice, and it's uh, it's with our character, Tarek, uh, the driver. Um, he's having kind of a heart-to-heart talk moment with Jack in one scene about love and relationship and, and what have you, and... Uh, we get Jack kind of having some flashbacks of when he first met Nadia, which literally is, what, I don't know, how long the time span is between the first movie and this last one, uh, in, in their time, in real time, it was all shot, I believe, back to back, but uh, in their time, I don't, I don't know how much time has went past, but Jack is kind of thinking back and showing him kind of reminiscing in that, and, uh, and... I don't know. It was just one of those moments that I didn't really see coming and that I thought was kind of cool and different for this character, Tarek. Because when you see him throughout the whole show, throughout the whole three-part series, he's pretty much just goofy crazy, like I said before in my other video, Jar Jar Binks kind of character. So uh, that was just a nice moment, and I thought I'd share that. Uh, something a little familiar in this last piece of the puzzle uh, that we've seen in the middle chapter is uh, we have an old fling show up. Uh, Nadia has an old fling that shows up and and uh, takes part in their adventure for a short time and of course there's a little bit of tension there between Nadia and him and Jack and what have you uh, which is very reminiscent of what happened between Jack and Lena Helmstrom uh, in the middle chapter of this three-part series. Um, I don't know if it was needed or not. Uh, I don't know if they just wanted to say tick for tack. You got to do this, so I'm going to do this with her or this, you know, whatever. I don't know what the why the choice was, but it wasn't anything super needed and super important. But I just thought I'd throw that in there that you do get in the middle chapter and in this chapter kind of a same situation there. Um, and this is kind of something dumb and annoying to me. Um, it's a slight spoiler. It just goes in, it gives you a little detail about what happens at the end. Just a little bit. Nothing totally crazy so you don't have to skip. It's nothing super major. Maybe. Uh, the ending has our main villain, Albert Littman, in control of the staff. You know, the iris and the eye and all that stuff. And it's on a staff. They're out in the middle of nowhere in the open land and that. And they're all fighting back and forth. And he has control of this. And, and the staff, and it, it has the power and it can destroy things. I don't know what all it can do. I just know that it shoots beams out. It shoots a beam out and it destroys things. Um, they're, they're doing all this stuff and he's just out in the middle. They're using the staff and you have the whole NSA, I believe is what they were called, the NSA shows up. There's like 50 of them and they're just shooting and shooting and shooting and nobody's hitting. Nobody's hitting anything, but then you can get one guy with a pistol from a hundred yards away and he'll get up and, and, and you know and hit uh, a, a fly on the wall or something like that it's just it's stuff like that that's kind of annoying and it's it's almost like these people are trained by stormtroopers pew 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 a little bit annoying whenever they do that in movies 
like the one guy can't be hit, but the one guy can hit everybody else in the world. And what, I don't know. That stuff gets that's a little annoying, little cliche, a little weird. I don't know why they do that in movies. And another slight spoiler with the same, uh, at the, it, it's the same scene. Uh, it's just a slight spoiler, nothing major, it's going to make you not want to watch. Uh, it's not giving away any big plot twists or anything. But this staff uh, is able to melt like the land. It's, he's, you know, uh, Lippman is shooting the beam at people. And it's basically melting the land into lava. Uh, okay. But it's a never-ending flow of lava. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about if you watch. It's a little bit goofy and uh, unfortunately uh, kind of... If Even me, whenever I... You know, I'm not sitting here picking stuff apart too bad. But I'm like, how is this continuing to go? You know, I could see shooting the beam and it turning that blob of sand or land or whatever into lava and then it melting away and just kind of laying there but it's just a constant flow of lava like there's now a volcano there now, something else I, I kind of feel about the end of this trilogy uh, my opinion is the last movie should have really been a great ending to a series uh, but it, it might have been the weaker of the three movies. Just my opinion. Uh, it wasn't bad. It just felt maybe kind of like it drug along a little bit here and there. And maybe some back and forth and uh, going here and there a little bit too much. And a little bit, you know, just kind of went on a little bit it seemed like. Or didn't flow right or something at some parts. Wasn't bad. But I think the other two uh, movies in the series were a little bit stronger. Um, there is a funny part at the very end uh, with Tarek. Um, you know, he's a slightly homely guy. Like I've said before, he's the Jar Jar Binks guy. Yeah, I mean, literally, kind of looks like him. But uh, the reveal of his wife at the end uh, was kind of funny. Uh, it was kind of, uh, it made you smile. So, I think you'll like that part. Alright. Now, I do have my handy dandy trusty notebook. I do have several pages left that I've got to read. And I'm going to read them. I'm going to try and do it somewhat professionally. Just hang with me. Uh, I'm skipping going into further details and opinions into this final chapter. And just going into what I think of the three-part series more as a whole. So, to get them out of the way, we're going to start with the negatives. And really, I'm kind of nitpicking at stuff because I really don't care at the end of the day. You know, I, I, I don't try to put so much seriousness into movies, but I'm trying to give you a decent, honest review here of how I feel. So, we're going to go over some negatives first. This is very much as close to an Indiana Jones clone as you'll get. Nothing totally original in execution or story or any of that and a lot of times you're gonna connect this with those movies and a lot of uh, the shots that they do and a lot of moments that they do and even you know just the overall feel and of course the way Jack looks he looks like Indiana Jones uh, and the acting while not bad at times comes off a little flat in in some parts in its execution uh, I, I believe it you know it's not bad and I think you'll agree once you if you decide to watch these it's not bad it's just it comes off a little flat here and there you know could be better but most things could there is a lot of going place to place uh, this person to this person I feel trying to make more of an adventure but comes off as more wasted time and making a time filler uh, essentially uh, there was a lot of overused cliche moments from car chases to gunfire to backstabbings to one guy knows everything 
and he's never any real threat. Uh, there was a lot of that. And of course, that's cliche in almost every movie you watch. Uh, some characters have a better spark and interaction uh, than others. Sometimes introducing twists and turns more characters can overcomplicate a story that really just needs to stay simple. They feel unimportant at times and unneeded. Uh, there's tons of gunfire, yet nobody really gets hit most of the time. Yet at times these same people can hit a fly on the wall from 100 yards away with a pistol. Pew! Again, we've seen this a million times. Now we're going to go into some good parts. The good stuff. Contradictory to my complaint about this being an Indiana Jones clone, it's also a good thing. I like Indiana Jones, so I like other movies with the same theme. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You can't have too many Indiana Jones movies, right? And Tarek. Yes, this odd character that we honestly don't even need. He's pretty decent and will have you smiling at times from his strange faces to what he says. He might be the best character in there, who knows. Now we have Jack Hunter. He does well enough with his character. There's a lot on this guy's plate with these movies. I feel he does a, a solid job. His acting is decent. Uh, there's not a whole lot of charisma with him, like, say, Indiana Jones. But is that his fault, or is that the writing's fault? You know? Uh, two of the same characters, but totally different. Uh, I think that they could have fished him out a little bit more, and, uh, and given him a little bit more of that attitude and, and what have you, that really everybody loves about Indiana Jones. And I think it would have, I think it would have upped his character quite a bit. Now we have Nadia. While very easy on the eyes, doesn't seem really important to the overall story for the most part. Uh, she has moments, and she is a main character, and I wish she had more to do. Um... You know, I can't say she really did a whole lot throughout the whole series that was, you know, that, that made her really worth having uh, in the story that much. You know, I, I, you, you have to have the guy and you have to have the girl. I get it. But they should have gave her a little bit more of an important role along the way because she's supposedly this smart person, archaeologist, professor smart, educated, whatever woman, and they could have utilized her, I think, a little better uh, throughout the series. Now you have, you have Albert Littman. Albert Littman. He's our main bad guy. Throughout all three films, he tries to get a leg up on Jack, but seems to fail almost every time. His acting is pretty much okay. He is the cliche Russian bad guy doing cliche Russian bad guy things. Uh, there's nothing new with him. He really don't bring anything new to the table. His acting is pretty solid. His character overall look pretty solid. Uh, he does a decent job and they do have back and forth between all these characters uh, that does draw you in. They have their moments and uh, you know, it's a decent, uh, a decent character overall. Uh, there are some other characters, but mostly kind of supporting and, ex and extras, and I'm not going to really go into all of them, because these are our main characters throughout the whole three-part series. So there you go. Okay, now we're going to go into what I feel about how the movie was made overall. Uh, the production and directing, I feel they did pretty well with it. As well as uh, the writers gave them and uh, as much control as was given to them. Uh, there's moments and events 
and dead spaces that could have been done a little differently but overall a very solid job good job cinematography really decent throughout the whole series uh, sure there might be a moment or two with a fight scene or a car chase that could have been edited maybe a little differently um, the areas that they go to throughout the series uh, is impressive they take you all over uh, to different places from deserts to tombs to uh, small villages to cities to towns and just kind of everywhere in between uh, and, and I think uh, overall you get a pretty good adventure throughout this series the lighting of course I mentioned before uh, things are really well lit uh, for most of the series at times uh, way too much as I mentioned in my other videos in this series uh, caves and tombs and sometimes inside homes and buildings etc uh, they should be lit a little bit differently especially in your caves and tombs um, you're not gonna have caves and tombs that are lit up you know there needs to be less lighting give you some of that mood and atmosphere uh, bring in some of those shadows and and have just glimpses of light you know playing on the actors and uh, and the surroundings it should be more of something uh, a little bit more mysterious about those moments as far as the script goes uh, things could always change in most scripts it's not perfect there are mistakes sprinkled here and there some scenes we simply didn't need uh, some average and cliche moments of course overall though for a three-part series I feel they did a decent job at trying to make things flow add in new destinations new characters and keep us entertained and guys really at the end of the day I like this three-part miniseries it kept me fairly entertained and that's all I ask for most people have not heard of this and that's too bad uh, you can find all three chapters on YouTube just type in Jack Hunter um, you can also look on Google and find some reviews uh, some not so good reviews and some that are okay reviews and you can also look on YouTube whenever you find the movie go down there in the comments and you can see people comment some people enjoy it some people don't uh, I believe sometimes people are way too harsh on movies and TV shows and stuff like that um, you know nothing's perfect like I've said before uh, and I know I tried to make a fan film a few years ago and it was only 30 minutes long 32 33 minutes long and it was very difficult that's first first time I'd ever tried anything like that and that's just me my you know myself trying to do something like that so throwing these things together even the worst of movie I can appreciate uh, the effort and what talent there might have been to help get it along the way and this here is no different it looks like uh, a good quality high production TV mini series it looks like a movie uh, they did well with it uh, the acting I've seen way worse acting I've seen way better acting um, excitement and uh, entertainment and, and, and entertainment wise I've seen worse I've seen better it does okay um, really I can't ask for a whole lot better you know I hope you enjoy it I hope you watch it I hope you give it a shot because I think you'll enjoy it pretty well guys I'm gonna give this three-part TV mini series a solid four out of five easily four out of five I enjoyed it the characters are okay the story was okay uh, all the different locations and that was okay uh, the different scenarios you know the different things and all that that took place uh, was okay and the, and the things that I found uh, kind of annoying or cliche or or maybe not needed or whatever they take a back seat to that okay so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this three-part 
video series that I did on the Jack Hunter TV mini series. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you watch them. Go back and check them out. Check out all my other videos and movie and TV reviews to cooking, video games, chit chatting about whatever, art, photography, bike riding, all that good stuff. I try to keep everybody entertained. I keep myself entertained. I enjoy doing all this. I love you. I love me. Guys, don't forget. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it, even as a Russian bad guy. Thank you. Come again now. Eh? Was that Russian? I don't know if that's Russian. Go watch these movies, guys. We'll see y'all later.